So last time we installed the OTR off the record uh, plugin and what it allowed us to do is let's suppose there are two parties who are chatting on the XMPP server using the pigeon and then if the sender is sending any message the risk was uh, suppose these servers which are owned by could be anyone because we don't know them we can't trust them and they are possibly be can be able to decrypt the message that the user is or the the requester is sending so ultimately they can decrypt the message read the message and then forward back to the uh, the uh, actual receiver now one protection we already has was the TLS so obviously the communication that the message was traveling uh, we would make sure that like you know the server that we are choosing is TLS protected so that's not a concern uh, the concern was the decrypting uh, the message by the server itself and which we resolved by installing the OTR plugin which we can uh, see it here this one right now one thing is you can see unverified uh, so this is still giving us some some warning so uh, for example I just uh, like you know started it says you should authenticate this body and unverified means how do you know the person you are chatting with is the actual person uh, that you want to uh, somebody has not hacked into their system and they are not chatting behalf of that user and this is becomes very critical uh, in the dark web because probably sometimes you are also exchanging some sensitive data you're buying something whatever the case is you want to make sure you're authenticating this person and and just to make sure uh, he's not like you know someone uh, your friend's friend and trying to chat with you uh, uh, they are sitting somewhere in like you know other part of the world so let's let's uh, let's see what's this uh, what uh, uh, what's actually unverified means so conversation can have four privacy levels not private we already like you know uh, did this so Alice and Bob are communicating with no cryptographic protection they are not using OTR at all Mallory who is watching the network can read everything they are saying to each other so that was the concern the private is of course we have authenticated each other uh, we are using OTR and we have authenticated each other they are assured that they are actually talking to each other and not an imposter they are also confident that no one watching the network can read their message Unverified is our current state where it says Alice and Bob are using the OTR but they are not authenticated each other which means they do not know for certain who they are talking to. It is possible that Mallory is impersonating one of them or intercepting their conversation and reading everything they say to each other. And finished is Alice was talking to Bob using OTR but Bob has decided to stop using it. In this level Alice is preventing from accidentally sending a private message without protection. By preventing her from sending any further message to Bob at all, she must explicitly either end her side of the private conversation or else start a new one. So what we uh, need to do here is if you remember in the OTR right uh, we did some uh, settings and then uh, during the setting I think let me show you quickly uh, what we did uh, tools we go plugin we go here configure plugin and as you can see we always require private messaging so always check this box that means if the other person that you're chatting with uh, let's say by some reason he uh, or she disabled the off the record messaging plugin then you won't be able to chat with them and your conversation will always remain private so now let's check how can we authenticate our body so there are three options we can do one is simple question answer so you can say what is your current location and then he would say okay um, of course you will choose some better uh, question based on uh, how you know this body uh, but yeah we can answer uh, anything and then on the next person like the receiver would get the same question and they need to answer now this answer you can share with them uh, via some other message or probably he, he would know the answer back in the days Yahoo used to use this for like you know resetting the password so it wasn't kind of very secure uh, because if your friend's friend might know some uh, private information that uh, the question is asking uh, like your where were you born and what's your mother's maiden name etc then this still gives some uh, like you know uh, ways to hijack into the conversation but let me show you uh, 
how this actually works so I just type the answer there and now you can see authenticating this successful and our now icon has changed to private now let's see what are the other ways we can authenticate this body so another way is shared secret so you can put some secret here uh, maybe you can generate some long key maybe you can have uh, without a question you can uh, you can uh, generate like a from the password manager some kind of password and you can uh, put it there so that might also be a good way to do it uh, the only thing I would recommend here is you want to when you create a shared secret of course just keeping in mind like you know how the TLS TLS works symmetric and asymmetric encryption how they exchange the shared secret so you want to sh uh, share the secret using some another method so maybe you call them you chat with like you know you email them or, or find any other way to do it so you share that way the third way uh, method is manual fingerprint verification so to verify the fingerprint contact your body via the same other authentication channel such as telephone or gpg signed email each of you should tell your fingerprint to the other if everything matches up you should choose to have uh, you should have one in the menu so I have verified or I have not and then you click on this so fingerprint for you is this uh, here for cyber sec like my buddy is this one so you call them you verify if this is the one then yeah uh, you can have this private conversation so these are some basic uh, methods so um, I would highly recommend like you know we, we gone through a lot of uh, other uh, ways of making sure our conversation always remains a private and secure and that what we have seen in the previous video and this one pretty much like you know circles the loop that okay now our communication end-to-end -end is totally private like no one can intercept neither can server see it not anyone uh, on the channel communication channel can intercept our traffic and not anyone can also imposter our body as well so we have pretty much con uh, covered all the risk all the possible threats that uh, this uh, dark web chat could uh, could like you know incur during your conversation so please follow these guidelines uh, whenever uh, you are chatting with someone on the dark web especially using the pigeon let me know if you have any other questions or any other controls that you also recommend other community members to use it if you have not already please hit the thumbs up button it's just gonna take a second uh, and and please leave your feedback so I know exactly what kind of content you're looking for thanks a lot uh, for all your time and I'll see you next Monday bye